I'm Roy. We are making a 3D printer from scratch. Consider subscribing for more DIY content. So here she is, the wee baby. And we have a C axis, guys. We have a C lift belted one. I'm going to talk about some concerns and uh, some nice stuff going on. And soon we will have movement on this baby. So what I've been doing lately is I've been designing this worm drive uh, solution for the Bring Smart Worm gear, which is very nice with a stepper and everything. And we have this bracket. This bracket contains um, also a uh, anchor point for the belt. So we kind of starting here and then we're going up to a pulley on the bed. Sort of the bed, uh, yeah, the bed lift. And then we go down to the motor pulley and then all the way up to the top pulley. And then we go down to the bed again. So, and we could, we could then go straight up actually from this pulley and straight up to another anchor point. But uh, I was, um, if we do that, we will lift on only one side. Rather than lifting on one side, I was thinking about it's nice to lift on two sides. So I run the belt all over to the front and another pulley and then up top to this anchor point. And this means we will be lifting on both sides. If I pull this belt now, we will lift the bed on both sides. Currently the motor pulley is loose, so I'm just running around the axle. And this is kind of nice, but it also has some challenges and I'm going to talk about those because at this point the belt is not very tense so we need to tension this belt and I can add a tensioner over here at the top anchor point on the front and what happens when I try to tension this guy down is that we will see some tilt action going on. I don't know if you see when I pull this we can see that the belt tilts a little bit because it doesn't move really at the rear but it does move at the front. It make also some tension movement here because this wheel will get pulled away from the extrusion and this will, will be pushed against the extrusion. It's not like a big deal, but it's, it is something con to consider. Also to consider is if we do have this uh, front belt, then we don't have access to the build plate. So if we were to have removable build plates, like mag magnetic stuff or such, then we had to pull them from the side. If we are going to enclose this baby uh, on the sides, uh, of course, <laughs> we will need to have a door on the side to remove this guy. Um, it's an option. Um, I'm not sure what to do. So please help me out, write a comment and uh, let me know what you would like to see. We could remove this front belt. What will happen then is that we will pull the bed only on one side, like this. And to be honest, that doesn't seem like a problem. I can use one finger tip only to move it and it, it's smooth, smooth as butter on both sides. There's like no play whatsoever, so we can even lift on this side, doesn't matter really. We can lift on this side. We do have more space back here than we have on the front here because the nozzle is going all the way here. So we need the bed to reach the nozzle. Um, yeah, so 
exciting times for the wee baby. And we also need to think about starting to add the controller. So where should we place the controller? If this is the wee baby, and consider it having also maybe some covers on the side of the back and such. If you do consider a cover on the back, we can actually mount something on the rear here because this this space is not actually used to anything. So we could add like a power supply over here. We could also have it over here. This is a 24 volt. I guess we do want to use 24 volt. This is another option, 12 volt, but only eight amps. Uh, much smaller, of course. And should we design a cabinet? Like below here, below the printer, should we have a cabinet there? Or should we just add the electronics like uh, to a backplate? Maybe that would be really, really nice to have everything on a backplate here. We have both sides we can use. So let me know again, what would you prefer? Electronics in the basement or on the black back side? Uh, facing inside the printer or outside the printer? We have uh, option to face also, of course, these things could be here. Maybe that's a nice option, actually. Um, I need some help here. I need some guidance, guys. So, what I would like you guys to help me with is the C axis. Should we pull on one side and get rid of this front belt? Or should we have a rod solution like we have on the Wiki? You know, transferring over to this side, I have two belts rather than one belt. We are currently one belt. Uh, should we lift on just one side? Actually, uh, with the size, this printer is, uh, I don't think, see any issues lifting on one side. We sort of be cantilevered, but then again not, because we do have sliders here. At least it's it's like the smoothest C axis ever, I think. It's just so good. I mean, this three-legged design is much better than I ever thought. And I didn't even think it would work, but it works much better than I was thinking. And so that's Lucky. Lucky says uh, everything is just chilling. Yeah. So we are closing movement stage. I'm going to load Molly into this uh, controller and I get next vlog is going to be all about movement and we're going to uh, review the C-axis because I think just the XY is just awesome. Uh, so that's it for now and thanks for following. Consider subscribing guys. I really appreciate it. So yeah, see you.